and welcome to Tax TV. Uh, you all know me, you should all know young Caleb. Caleb, again, a regular guest now. So it's great to have you on, mate. Thank you. What's it like having a bit of time off of school and all? All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, match. Well, that, true. Very true. Yeah, very true. Uh, so, young Caleb's loving life, not being at school, uh, playing football and playing out with his mates. He's not up with that. So, yeah, we just uh, touch on Markham game, uh, Caleb. I mean, we needed a win. You know, we didn't want to, after his loss at Exeter, we didn't want to, like, do a bit of a, a Sheffield Wednesday and end up losing another couple few games or doing a draw. But we bounced back from it and we... I, my opinion, anyway, get yours. But, I mean, five goals and uh, a good performance. Well, that five goals, impressive. But what I just can't get is that we lost one the first time. One easy second. We just stopped, stepped up our game. We needed it and all went to a good point, back Because, like when you said, when we played them away at their place, it was a tough game. Um Mark and fighting to stop in this league, you know, over in bottom bottom three, bottom four at minute. Just been looking at form table. Um were you impressed as well, Caleb, as, as the the way we built up to his goals, like some dummy runs and his work off at ball as well? Well, I could see what they're doing, so you could see when they know they were just doing easy passes. And but then to get them off guard is was long balls. So a bit of both. A bit of both, yeah. Uh I I think Markham we didn't really offer it much. I know I think it was late on it's late on the second half. I think we hit post and Addy Stead, you know, followed up uh pretty pretty well. Again, a couple of changes were made, didn't they? Max Watters came in, Luke Thomas started. And it freshened up a bit. I think Luke Thomas, bit of a dribble, and he, I think he caused their defence a lot of problems, uh, Caelan. Well, yeah, put him on where Norwood could, could go. But I think he could keep the place, but I think Norwood's just better. But he did trouble their defence. That game, you could see him putting it, it in, putting the work in. Easy balls all the time. I like that. It, it does seem that it can be a good player. Yeah, easy balls all the time. And again, what you've just said there, don't have a complicated, easy. Easy thing is, is like once you get a goal or two in front, momentum is there, confidence is there. And I could see that with some of the players as well. They're, they're loving it, they're wanting, you know, the. <laughs> Not just the work on ball, but off at ball as well. And great to see so many different goal scorers as well. You know, everybody chipping in with a goal. That's got to be good for confidence for Barnsley as well. Yeah, there was all, I could see all confident, all ready for the match. And then we just went and got five goals. Mm, yeah, true. Uh, I know it got a bit thing with atmosphere and that, uh, with megaphones and all that kind of stuff. It were for me were poor. Uh, I don't think I, I can't understand why Stu should be getting involved in stuff like that. Um, I know club are looking into it and stuff, but I raise concerns with Julian. Um, I know there's like meetings been going off of this other, but again, at the end of the day, Caelan, when when we're winning and we're all bouncing, you know, Ponty and where we are, it's it's just fun, isn't it? We just want you trying to get behind team, mate, aren't we? That's all we're trying to do. Yeah, I can't get over the shorts. No, no. I think some of them, they mean well, and some are just like a lot of a sin, and there's no reason for it, there's no need for it. Frustrates me. I call it out of my previous video as well. Um, a, you know, 14 year old lass had to put a, a can of pop art into a plastic pot because size it can were too big. And yet, someone else with another can of the same size that were allowed it. I don't know, stewards. We just want sorting out, I think. Uh, like I said, I know they're to do a job and that, but sometimes they go over zealous. And I think the nightclub bouncers are having stewards at a football game. And the day where you want to go, want to enjoy things, want to make some noise. And that's what it's all about. You know, I can't see there's no harm in that. And young Caleb, like you said, there, 
you know, no need for it. And we just want to be singing and dancing and, you know, getting behind the side of Ponty, don't we, do, uh, Caleb? That's all we want yeah, to that's do. All, that's all, yeah, that's all I want to do. Uh, so going on to the Burton game, mate, another hard game, this. Um, again, another side, what's a bit unpredictable. I think since I had a beard, you all left them and, you know, he will gain some goals for them. Burton, for a side for me, uh, seemed to be a bit of a draw and happy to take a draw rather than go out for a win our tech. Uh, we as for Barnes, we need to win that game, don't we? Yeah, I think they Markham. They didn't. Sh- you couldn't see much of them in the when we last played them. But first time we played them, they showed up. That they knew what they was doing. But yeah. then Barnes, we didn't. We didn't go together as a team. But now we're fighting about. They all know what they're doing. But I think Burton. They'll, they'll show up to the game. Yeah, I think I think will gives it a tougher test, obviously, with being at their place and we go in to theirs. For Barnsley, would you make any changes, you know, going into a Burton game? Well, not really, because the defence was strong. There was nobody getting past that. And um, the midfield, they worked together. They won two in, but they won all all everywhere and mm. and then we just all came together as a team perfectly yeah i think you know we've had a, a few days off we've had a midweek game i know it's going to be a friday game and it's going to be a monday game so you've got two short games in a match of days for me i'd i'd probably keep you know side as it is if i'm being honest uh we didn't do it wrong we set off on front foot uh, Luke Thomas gave some more game time. Max Watters again coming into it more. Um, I'd keep it like what you said, V. Caleb. I'd keep, you know, keep side as it is. And again, you look at bench, then you've got players who are going to come off. So that's going to be interesting. What do you think? What do you think score is going to be? What do you think uh, it'll be the most important player for us on, on Date Burton? Well, they came together as a team, they all worked together. So I couldn't really single out a player folk from last game, but there's one player that I think always stands out. It's Kane now. Mm. Kane. He's playing well. Yeah, he's playing well. He's not I've, giving it, up. It's when the team, when the other team scores, it's all the team. And then Kane and Norwood all getting into them all. They feel confident. I like that. Yeah, I think uh, Kane's coming to his own, just what you said via mate. Um, I think Luke O'Connell, I think them two play well together. Um, it was interesting that all three midfielders went off at, at weekend, brought f- a fresh pair of legs on in midfield and we still took game to him. So, good shout out. I think Kane has improved. I think uh, Duff's got a, a tune out of him. He's going playing to the best of his ability. And he keeps improving, chipping in with goals, chipping in with, you know, with runs and passing and that. Uh, great shout, mate. Yeah. Uh, what do you think score will be against Burton? What score prediction, mate? Probably three one Barnsley. I think they'll put up a good fight, but I think we'll concede a goal. But I think we should have the players to win, the team to win. Three one Barnsley. Same same score predictions. I'm going for actually. I'm going three one Barnsley. I think Burton will have a uh, I'll have a go, like you, you said earlier, Caelan, that we being a Tom, they'll want to take the game to us, so I think there'll be a goal in it for them. But I think we're not just this firepower starting eleven, but I think what we can do to change it from, you know, from bench and all, if what is starts, you've got Norwood to come on. You know, then you, you like look at such as like Alan Phillips, he could come on if Thomas did. So you've got a, a lot of opportunities there. So I'm going with you 3 1. I think his most important player will be. I'm going for Luca Connell. I'm going for a, another midfielder. I know you said Kane, but I'm going for Luca Connell. Uh, uh, you know, another player who's uh, done well this season. You know, he's come in, found his feet, and I think he's showing in not just off at pitch, but on pitch and all. Uh, a character that he is, and he's getting best out of him. So, yeah, 
Good good shout out, mate. Um, people that's watching, please like, subscribe, and share. Just over, we've just hit now just over 10,000 subscribers. So I want to thank you to everybody that's that has subscribed. Um, let us know your score predictions and what you know what you'd do. Me, both me and Kelly are going for Barnes wins three ones. Uh, if it's more, the better. You know, we'll take that all day long, me and Caleb. But yeah, let us know your score prediction. Let us know if you're making the changes. That's going to be an interesting one. Or would you keep it as it is? Because we're going to be going in bank bank all the Monday with another game. So I'll be able to come through with that with no injuries. So Caleb, it's been a pleasure as always. Great talking to you, mate. Some good insight, some good feedback, some good debate. Um, I know you're going to be going off to your football. So I'll let you get sorted out for that. But Caleb, it's been a pleasure talking to you, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you. One thing left to say, you Reds.